Hello, St. Barnabas Primary School. I'm in the church today and I've got something very lovely in front of me. It's called an Advent wreath. And it's what we use to prepare for Christmas. Many great faiths in the world celebrate a festival of light at this time of year. Hindus, Sikhs and Jains have recently celebrated Diwali in November. People in the Jewish faith will soon be celebrating Hanukkah, another festival of lights which remembers the building of the second temple in Jerusalem. And Christians celebrate Christmas on the 25th of December. And from the 29th of November we have a special period of the church here called Advent, which is almost a month of preparation of prayer and of waiting. During that time we light the different candles on an Advent wreath, which you can see is decorated with all sorts of colourful and lovely winter flowers and leaves. We've got holly here with some lovely red berries. We've got some ferns, some pine cones, and some other lovely berries. Now, on this wreath there are three purple candles, a pink candle and a white candle. And each of the candles means something different. The first candle is the candle of hope. And I'm going to light the first candle because this Sunday, the 29th of November, is Advent Sunday. And the first candle represents hope because it's the prophet's candle. And the prophets of the Hebrew scriptures prophesied that the light of the world would soon come in the form of the Messiah. And the second candle is called faith. And it is Bethlehem's candle. And it's called Bethlehem's candle because we remember that Mary and Joseph went to Bethlehem to have the baby Jesus when he was born. The third candle, which is the pink candle, is joy. And it's the shepherd's candle. And it's the shepherd's candle because we remember that the shepherds, when they heard in the fields, watching their flocks at night, from the angel, that God had given the world a new king, Jesus. And the shepherds were overjoyed. Now, why is this candle pink? Well, joy is a very bright and hopeful uh, feeling. And purple is quite restrained and sombre. So in order to show that we are joyful on the third Sunday of Advent, we have a slightly less purple candle. And it's pink, so it's more joyful than the others. The fourth candle is peace. And it's peace because it's the angel's candle. And the angels sang peace on earth when Jesus' birth was announced. And then we have the white candle, the Christmas candle. And that celebrates love. That is Christ's candle. And that shows that in Jesus we have the perfect definition of love. We have the perfect example of God's love. So, hope, faith, joy, peace, and love are the five big words for Advent and Christmas.